Namaste India. The 15th of August is a sacred day in India, a day that marks the achievement of freedom and empowerment, and that opened up a wide horizon of new possibilities. The 75th anniversary of this landmark day is a time to recognize the immense stride India has made to emerge as a strong and resilient economy. I am proud to state that Toshiba has accompanied India along its path towards socio-economic growth, infrastructure expansion, and sustainable development for close to 60 years. Over these years, we have offered diverse solutions in the energy and infrastructure sectors, invested in skills development, and boosted economic activities by way of capital investments and job creation. Toshiba is a supporter of the Indian government's initiatives, particularly those to promote Make in India, Clean India, and Skill India. We also collaborate with many partners here to export products and solutions from India to the world. In its journey towards sustainable growth, India faces the twin challenges of air and water pollution and must ensure resilient urban development. Toshiba is dedicated to the creation of sustainable water environment in India and is providing wastewater treatment solutions under the Clean Ganga Initiative. To curb tailpipe pollution, we offer rechargeable battery solutions and have established a joint venture in Gujarat for India's very first automotive lithium battery factory. Our building solutions for elevators and air conditioners are safe and energy efficient with a low carbon footprint. Despite the ongoing pandemic, our entire team is working hard to prevent any disruption to the business and to mitigate negative impacts with measures that prioritize the safety of our employees and their families. We closely monitor the situation and follow government guidance to ensure business continuity and service for our customers. As we celebrate India's great progress, I reiterate Toshiba's commitment to contribute the development of India and her people for a new day. We look forward to continuing our long-term partnership with India and to supplying the infrastructure essential for sustainable development in decades to come. I congratulate all Indians on this memorable occasion of the 75th Independence Day. Jai Hind!